Hey, Favor, man, what's going on? It's your boy Q the Problem. You definitely inside the wire. I got my girl Keys the Problem on the line. What's good, mama? Yeah, what's up? Y'all know what it is. Keys the Problem. Keys the Beast. Let's get it in. I like how you feel in my last name, but it's cool. <laughs> See, I'm a problem on a different end of things, yo. You know, I, I can't rap. You know, I, I tried a little bit. I'm, I'm like a tigger, you know. I can't really do much, man. I'm, I'm more so for, for kicks and giggles. You That's know? what's up. You got that. So you know, um, like, what really, what really got you started in hip hop? You know, like as far as rapping and you know, all, all of that. What really got you started? Cause you, cause you sound, um, you, you sound real good. Like you know, you go hard. Like, like you remind me of like um, uh, MC Light. You know, in her prom queen when she first started. So, you know. Yeah, I get that a lot. Um, I've I've been rapping my whole life for real. Um, my father was just so so enthusiastic about hip hop. So I guess that wore off on me a little bit. But um, you know, I never really pursued it, pursued it like that. Like being a famous rapper was never really my aim. I just you know, like to do it. So I guess people, they get surprised because they haven't seen me a lot of places. They feel like, you know, I just got started, but that's not it. I've just been laying low, perfecting my craft, and I'm just going in now. Yeah, I heard you got, like, rap of the year or something to that effect. <laughs> um, that's what they said. I don't know. Oh, okay. They said I was only in it for a couple of weeks and I got rap of the year. So. Okay, okay. Hey, I, I just take the compliments when they come. <laughs> <laughs> so what new um, music or mixtape you got working, you working on, or do you have circulating at this point? No, it's, it's already finished, but it's getting finalized right now, and it'll be... It'll be dropping before this month is out, so I'm going to be letting everybody know the date very soon, and, um, yeah. What's the title, of the, what's the title of the mixtape? I can't tell you yet. Oh, man. You're going to keep me in suspense? Yeah. Huh? I said you're going to keep me in suspense? Yeah, but I got, I, um, I got you. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right so, you know, like, Really, you know, we're gonna get down to the to the gist of things. You know, what really caused the riff? You know, as far as like you and and Nicki Minaj are concerned, because you know people have been like reading a lot and calling in. You know, as far as like the the back and forth, you know, between y'all two. So, what really, you know, caused the riff? Um, it all started with me doing the diss. I did the diss for fun, just to you know, my friends would trip off us, but it got international attention and you know almost you know a million views now so like I just like I really just did it for fun just for you know my people to trip off of but when it got to that level I guess she caught wind of it so you know she chose to respond and throw her little slurs and stuff so I guess that kept the fire going like you know if, if I was her she should have just saw it and just left it at that but she chooses to keep going around throwing slurs, and now she got the little whatever bars on the DJ Khaled remix, obviously throwing slurs again. So I don't know. In her corner, she should have just saw the disc and just got killed and just like that's the end of it. But she chooses to throw slurs, so she just keeping the fire going. But I mean, it's whatever. I mean, I do this for fun, so. I mean, I'm not even going to front. I mean, if that's your fun, then I would hate to see, you know, when you really turn it on because me and my <laughs> peers, you know, we all kind of agree that you you went in on that one. I mean, if anybody had to give somebody the W, you know, as far as, like, back and forth, like, you had the W on that one because not only was it, like, comical, but it was, like, real lyricism, you know, real hip-hop, you know, like what we seen in the J Electronicas right, yeah. and the J. Coles and, you know, things of that right. nature, you know, like, so... And that's my thing, like, the reason I don't care, like, the reason I will say your name is because I really feel like something has to be done, you know what I mean? I feel like hip-hop has been in the hands of whack rappers for so long that now the new generation of people that's, you know, tuning in hip-hop, they don't get why we why we say it's whack because that's all they're used to. You know what I mean? They don't remember a time when we had people that actually was bringing real lyrics to it. So, you know, I just feel like now is the time to go in. Like, I'm just tired. You know what I mean? I think everybody is fed up. That's the reason why I get so much support because people hear 
the lyricism that they haven't heard in so long. So, yeah. You're right, because lyr- lyrics are um, a dying trend in hip hop right, right now. You know, no diss to any, you know. Uh, uh, you know the the club, you know I guess club themed artists or whatever the case may be. But you know like, you know lyricism really has you know taken a taken right. a step away you know from from the game. And you know we glad it's people like you, you know that's that's really trying to bring it back. You know like I I, I for one have your support. You know because like I said I enjoy your your lyrics man and you have a a comedic twist on it as well. So you know it, it's Thank it's good to me. I can't wait Thank for the mixtape to drop. Right, thank you so much. I think people got this idea about music. They feel like you're either going to be lyrical or you're going to be um, trendy or, you know, able to bump in the club. And they feel like it's no medium to that. Like, either you're going to be actually making sense of your song or you're going to just not and just this is going to be on a nice beat. But I think that it can be a medium for it. Like, you don't have to rap on a dry beat just because you're being lyrical, you know what I mean? So I think that's what that's what I'm gonna bring for it. Like we can still have fun and dance but let's make sense while we're doing it. <laughs> hey bye mama. Well you know me, the people here one oh four point five, you know, we wish you, you know, the most success, you know, with everything that you're doing, man. I know you know it's gonna be a lot of success. I'm pretty sure, you know, with a million YouTube hits, somebody is hitting your jack right now. You know, to do some work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I get all types of phone calls, but thank you so much. So, we'll, you know, we'll be we'll, we, we'll be on the lookout for, you know, everything that you got going forward, man. Uh, let the people know, you know, what what, what websites, your Twitter, because I know everybody has a Twitter right now. What's your website, you know, what, what what's your Twitter page or how, how many yeah, Twitter pages? Yeah, um, go ahead, hit me on Twitter. My Twitter is keys underscore the problem, spelled normally, and then my Facebook is keys. Last name the beef D A D E A S T. So go ahead and hit me up, y'all. Alright, that was Key the Problem, man. You just tuned in to the Y, you know, it's the People Station 104.5. Yeah.